Bringing over some of that go fast juice. All right, guys, we're back here at Bradenton Motorsports Park, and I'm making all my passes to get this car perfect for sick week that starts on Sunday night. And I just made my first pass, and this thing dead hooked. I'm talking going from a 1660 foot to a 1260 foot with all the suspension upgrades. Now, talk about a win there, right? Dude, solid. so pumped. One, two, a well, one, two, one, nine. Two. One, two, nine. Oh, Right? Mr. Sam, what do you got the air pressure set to there? We are set at 18 pounds right 18 there. Right flat. there on 18 like flat. There we go. No partner? Fast for his 8.5 class. Rolled to an 8.8 at 122. Yeah, 538 in the 8, 128, 60 foot. It's pretty good. So, all right guys, the tire is just barely skating on the ground when I leave the line. So Nate said we should put about two clicks of uh, rebound in the front and two clicks of compression in the rear. And that should help keep the car down as I leave the line. We're gonna do a little click clack. You think two clicks is too much everywhere to keep the front end down a little more? Um, I wouldn't mess with the rear much. I did right. take video. You wanna go over the video real quick? Yeah, let's do it. You wanna pull it up? like maybe one click each yeah and see if that slows the front down a little and leave bit. the rears but you're what you're messing with is if you look your your rear doesn't have a lot of travel so you kind of have to let the front end soak some of it up to yeah extent. But i think if you tighten it a little bit okay so in instead front, of two all the way around you're thinking one up front and then none in the rear yeah leave the rear alone the rear's pretty good ty's a big chassis guy i'm gonna go with him yes thanks dude no all right, we're gonna go back a notch here. Oh, lots of smoke, lots of smoke. Oh no. 
that is a lot of smoke down there not sure what happened he let off early like i said ran at 864 at 131 and then on the shutdown a bunch of smoke just popped up go back to the pits and see what's going on just only going faster that was an 864 i know still letting off still letting off like halfway through the, the back eight yeah. and uh i didn't even know but a bunch of smoke came out and my brakes are super soft we got to bleed them completely and so i was anticipating like one soft pump but i pumped it too hard and locked up the brakes so that's what all the smoke was oh did you flash spot a tire no it didn't flash spot it because i got out of it super quick the car kind of jerked it feels weird right you probably got bolt. look at this that's new separated i bet you did bolt probably you don't even know it i've done it too I know a guy. <laughs> I do need some TVM brakes, and in fact, I've got a plan with the guys to get some brakes on it after sick week. But we're waiting on a couple parts and some hardware to get in before we put it, put it in. So right now, I know y'all are gonna hate, but I am gonna rock the stock 1999 V6 Mustang brakes. But that's what you got a parachute for. But that's what I have a parachute for, and I haven't been using it. And honestly, that has been the best safety improvement I've ever made. Like, it is an absolute game changer. So. You know, an 8.6 at 131, dude. That's neat. That's so fast, just at the low mile an hour. I wasn't in the car. You Definitely <laughs> faster than my last pass. What do you think it ran? Well, I know I pulled the shoot like 200 feet before the before the quarter mile. All right, what do you think it ran? A5. A5? Yeah. A2? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that thing might have went like an 1880 on that pass, dude. Beat. That thing was back half and heavy. Oh my God. An 8-2. I know, I saw you flying. I was like, oh, that looks well, a little faster than 8-5. That fastest pass I've ever done was an 8-62, so I just crushed that. Jesus, on dude. 16 pounds, maybe? Probably. Yeah, probably. it's 13 on the dome, that's it. I know, I know. We got to turn this thing out this week. Yeah, we got to get the trophy. We got to lock it down. We got to get a trophy. We'll get the trophy on the last day, and then, then we'll go 7s. Then we're going to the moon. Let's right. go, baby. <laughs> Well, Sam, we That's did our idea. fastest pass ever in That's Dr. Pepper. Can you believe it? An 829. I mean, and what's the fastest <sighs> you've been up to that time? An 86. But Woo! here's the deal. I overshot where I'm trying to go, especially to get my NHRA license. Yes. Since my next couple passes, I have to get the car to 850, which slows it down. And they want to see a progression of time going up. So really, that last pass didn't count for no, my license. Can't, it can't count because you're way too fast. And the progression, we are. The progression are you way up. We're way too fast. So we know we got to turn the car down, and then we'll make you more consistent with it. But I, I pulled the shoot like 200 feet before the end. So we know the car is capable oh, of blowing. Oh, it's still way much more. Yeah, it's seven-second ride. It seven is. Seven-second ride. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe, like, leave me a comment, and we'll see you this week. It's going to be crazy. Tonight, we did testing for Dr. Pepper. Tomorrow, I am roll racing the Hellcat at Streetcar Takeover. And then we check in for SIG Week on Sunday, and we are racing Sunday through Friday. 
and then Friday night we start for the Compact Series Compact testing. Series, Saturday yeah. night we race for Compact Series. Yep. So it's gonna be an epic week of content and we'll see you guys later. Yes. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. That's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush out every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.